Hey guys, it's me, Jason, and I'm starting a new series today, and I'm going to be reading books, because I'm really bored. And, so, I'm going to read you the name. My sister has gone and got me some books, and I'm going to read you the titles, and then she's going to choose a book that she wants me to read, and I'll read it to you. Okay, so, we have Lift the Flaps, Wake Up the Little Tiger, The Cat in the Hat Comes Back, I love this one. Griswold. The Little Red Hen. My first, my first book. My A book. See. My B book. Okay. Saggy baggy elephant. No place for me. Chocolate Chip Hippo, The Hunchback of Notre Dame, Corduroy Goes to the Beach, More m ms Math, this is my favorite, really, you picked this one, I don't want to, the Sesame Street Dictionary, I guess picked up a turn so don't blame me, and Swamp Angel. Okay, Emily, which one do you want me to read? Griswold! Okay! So, go put these over on the table, please. Okay. I guess we're reading Griswold, people. Story and pictures by Sid Hoff. Shout out to you, Sid Hoff. Oh, look, it's an I Can Read book. Interesting. You can sit there now, Emily, and don't make any weird faces, otherwise I will hit you. Okay, that's just me. This is old. It's 1963. Griswold. In the far north lived a bear named Griswold. Griswold was so big, three rabbits could sit in his footprint. When he went fishing, the river only came to his knees. Other bears had no trouble going into the caves to sleep. Griswold always got stuck. He had to sleep out in the open, but he didn't mind. He had a nice coat of fur to keep him warm. No other animal dared wake him. One morning, there was a loud noise in the forest. All the other bears ran away. Griswold went to see what it was. He saw men chopping down trees. Timber, they shouted. <laughs> In a minute, I'm going to move you out of the camera so you mm -hmm. don't stop. What's the big idea? asked Griswold. What are you doing to my forest? We are sorry, said the men. We have to send these logs down the river to the mill. They will be made into paper. I can't live in a forest with no trees, said Griswold. He went to look for a new, new place to live. Do you know where there's a nice forest, he asked. You won't find one up here, said a mountain goat. Do you know where there's a nice forest, he asked. You won't find one here, said a prairie wolf. Do you know where there's a nice forest, he asked. Boy, are you lost, said a desert lizard. Griswold looked until he saw houses. What can I do here, he asked. You can be a bearskin rug, said some people. They let him into their house. Griswold lay down on the floor. The people stepped all over him. Ow, I don't like this, said Griswold. He left the house. Griswold saw a light pole. I'll climb that tree, he said. I was here first, said a cat. He chased Griswold away. Well, there's a bear didn't chase my cat. Off head my oh. Griswold saw a dog. Can't you read? asked the dog. He chased Griswold away. And the dog's getting chased by a dog. Oh, interesting. Griswold saw the people doing, going to a dance. They went 
The people wore masks. Griswold went to the dance too. You look, you look just like a real bear, said the people. Thank you, said Griswold. The people started to dance. Griswold started to dance too. It's time to take off our masks, said somebody. All the people took off their masks. Off their masks. Take off yours too, they said to Griswold. I can't, he said. This is my real face. You don't belong here, said the people. You belong in the zoo. Griswold went to the zoo. The bears were begging for peanuts. Griswold begged too. Please don't stay, said the bears. We need all the peanuts we get. Try the circus. Griswold went to the circus. They put skates on him. He went flop. Then they put him on a bicycle. He went crash. On a monopia there, kids. They tried to make him stand on his head. He couldn't do that either. I guess it takes practice, said Griswold. It sure does, said the train bears. Griswold tried to arrest. You can't park here, said a policeman. Oh, that, that's just him. I'll find a place to park, said Griswold. He ran until he came to a nice forest. I'm very glad to be here, he said. We are very glad you are here too, said some hunters. They took aim. Don't shoot, said a ranger. This is a national park. No hunting allowed. Yeah, thank you, ranger. The hunters left. Thank you, said Griswold. You'll be safe here, said the ranger. People cannot shoot animals here. They can only shoot pictures. All the people wanted to see Grizzle's, wanted to take Grizzle's picture. He was the biggest bear they had ever seen. Thanks for posing for us, they said. This is the life for me, said Grizzle, and he was very happy. Yay. The end. Thanks for watching.